I wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on This display. is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic, with this logic you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy so neurotic and chaotic I was oh. built to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat I'm on it, I just wanna be iconic Sipping on a gin and tonic Got me going off when I'm on this topic, yeah If I ever play, I want it You know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic Keep them out your face, no way you don't want it, yeah Don't try to drain my energy The enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily Spreading like a rare disease But I won't let it get to me I don't need your therapy I can leave a legacy of leading by intensity Come on, we can fight this Freedom is Spread just like a virus, living in a crisis Do you feel courageous? Do you seek greatness? Trust me, you can take it, go on and take your aim I was built to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them Make mistakes real fast It's a new day, and nothing's really quite going your way You got bad news that's confusing You got sad news that you're wounded And if it's like the worst time You're worried and scared and not fine You feel unprepared with no signs But well, it'll be alright, you just gotta fight what about things happen to the best of us? It seems like they should be blessed. They just might be angels here as guests, teaching us to be our best. When everything breaks at the seams, and you feel like you're losing belief. But damn it, you just gotta stay strong when it all falls apart and goes wrong. When you feel And it hurts It's like you've been cursed by the world at its worst I'm sorry I know you can't see it But maybe all these things happen to you for a reason So stay strong and push through it Your willpower is everything you got, don't lose it And one day things will get better You just gotta get through the stormy weather
What about things happen to the best of us? It seems like they should be blessed. They just might be angels here as guests, teaching us to be our best. When everything breaks at the video done um, this is just a little segment to talk about everything um, first off I want to thank you all for the amazing number that I've hit on my channel you guys are all so amazing and I know there are many of you that have are asking me a bunch of questions but before we answer all these questions let me show you guys my face so we can verify who was shooting was me 
call me a god. You call me a god. You call me a god. You call me a god. Let's go. I'm about to go off like a weapon. Fuel to the top, got a filled up engine. In my thoughts, obsession. I will not stop, no, I'm never second guessing. I got a god complex. Haters love to hate, but I never feel pressed. Got a lot on my plate, but I never get stressed. I'll take all the pressure like I'm in this test. Oh, tear it up like I'm Jason. I see the world like it's ready for the taking. I see this place like a game I'm playing. Straight to the bank to collect my payments. No negotiations. It's my way. I was born impatient. And like a damn Freemason, I'll run this nation. You call me a god. Thank you all again for the amazing support. You guys have truly done an amazing job with just all the support, all the kind words, just every single one of you helping me reach this number, reaching the amount of subscribers, getting all these likes on different videos. You guys are just so amazing and I can't thank you all enough. You guys are all so amazing. You guys better hug yourselves because you guys are amazing. All of you that are with my channel, all that have been with me since the beginning, all of you that are new that have just tuned in, thank you all. You all are so amazing. But there are a couple things I wanted to address before um, I ended this all off. Because I didn't just want to end it off the gun range video because, you know, then there would be, because then I was thinking there's going to be hundreds of speculation saying that's not him. I mean, that's probably some other guy, you know, he's just recorded shooting at the gun range, you know. Um, but there were a couple things I wanted to address. One, I'm sorry that it was not a lot of different angles or anything special and... The quality wasn't that great either because of the fact that I was using my phone like I am now. Um, but the other thing is, is that the gun range was packed that day that I recorded. I screwed up recordings a lot. Um, on top of that, I didn't have much time to actually shoot that I would like to. I would like to take my time, get a, other clips, so maybe me loading a few mags, stuff like that. But I got to the gun range unprepared for that. And so on top of that, I'm sorry um, that it's what it is. Um, but if you guys want to see me go back and shoot other guns, I do have plenty of guns to shoot. But um, yeah, one thing I did want to address is someone has said, has asked me about like what I wear, what do I shoot, what am I using? Like in some videos I'll show off like, um, like me holding a gun, me in an outfit or something like that. But just so you all can see clearly what I was wearing, this was the shirt that I wore that day. I'm not sure if I can get it right. It's so wrinkled. <laughs> but if you can see that, I'm sure if you can. That says, smells like freedom. The lighting is shit. I apologize for that. But it smells like freedom and it's got like smoke coming out of the rifle, you know? So, um,. It's the shirt I always wear when I would go to the gun range because I just feel like it's a really nice style. And so, yeah, that's just why. I thought it was cool. It's my go-to shirt if I'm not wearing my this other shirt that I like to wear. But um, another thing I wanted to talk about is a couple, some of the guns that you saw me shoot. I shot three guns in the video. I shot my AK. Well, a AK because I have two, as you can see right here. I got two AKs, and over here I got a couple of ARs, and uh, right here, this right here is my Glock 19. Um, it's a little patriotic, um, for all of you that don't know, like right here it says Donald J, Donald J. Trump. Um, you got the defend, protect, and preserve on the bottom. You got the White House down here. You got 
um, little bald eagle right up here. I'm not sure if you can see that. You probably can't. You got 45 right here, right where my middle finger is. That says 45, as in the 45th president, which was, you know, Donald, which was Trump. And on the other side, you have the presidential seal. You have the, and then you have the Declaration of Independence with all the amendments. Um, and yeah, it was just a really cool gun that I have. And actually, fun fact, this was the gun I bought when I first turned 21. This was my gun I bought with my own money. <laughs> I actually went, I went out to my favorite gun store and I bought this online on their site. They had it on sale. So I went out and I bought it and it's just such an amazing piece. It's Glock 19. I think it's a Gen 3. I want to say Gen 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gen 3. Gen 3. I, I keep questioning myself all these things. Because a Glock 26, which is another Glock I own, at the Gen 5. So, you know, I kind of say look at this. So I'm like saying, wait, it's not Gen 5. <laughs> but yeah, this is my Glock. That was what I was shooting in the video. So, if you guys want to see me go in more in depth about this bad boy, I will have be... I'll be happy to, but um, one major thing I want to talk about real quick is I am very deeply sorry to say this, but coming up to this next weekend and the weekend after, I'm not going to be able to stream anything because of the fact that I got to go see family. I got to go up um, north and I got to go see my family uh, because my one of my younger cousins is actually graduating high school, so I'm going up there to go celebrate her graduation and then I'm also seeing some family that I haven't seen in a while and you know some that have been you know um not as great you know get caught up with them and all that good stuff but yeah um that was the lock I just wanted to show off real quick um now what I wanted to show off is my modern AK right here for any of you that wanted to see it this is the AK-47 I shot in the video. Um, it's got a mag full stock, so it's adjustable. So, you know, that's what many AKs don't have. Uh, the rail system is Picatinny on top, M-Lock on the, all around, um, built-in, you know, sling parts. So you can just slap on a sling, no problem. Um, but yeah, this is a little modern AK. Um, what's crazy is that this AK was, a, was um, made apart from many different countries, like, you know, like this, like the mag full stock, the rail, and the grip were American, the receiver, the, um, safety, the grip, um, mag release, all this stuff was, all this part from where my hands are, this was made in a different country, but it's made with other parts, you know, like the barrel came from a different country, the muzzle was, I don't, I don't exactly remember, but I know this gun was basically assembled apart from many different countries bringing the parts. So, yeah. I thought it was a cool piece. It was actually very cheap, and it shoots amazing. Actually, it shot way better than my traditional AK when I first shot it, which was crazy. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, that was the AK I shot. Um, if you guys want to see me shoot it more, I'd be happy to um, whenever I get back and I have free time. If you guys want to see me shoot more, I'd be happy to. Maybe I'll be more prepared, like having my mags ready, having all my equipment ready. Um, I gotta get a new tripod because the one that I'm currently using is actually just broke. I am basically makeshift jerry-rigged it to be like this. So, yeah. And for all of you that wanted to see, this was my AR that I shot at the range. Um, I'm on my knees I'm sorry <laughs> but yeah it's got a nice little it's got a six hour scope on it one by nine times I want to say nine nine times one it was a one by nine times or a one nine one by six times I cannot say it right I, I swear what the hell <laughs> um, but yeah so yeah, this is my rifle this was actually made by radical arms um, you know little mag pull grip um, for the M-Lock rail and I also got a tack light on this side for all of you that wanted to see it um, but yeah that I would not put on right now because 
it could definitely screw up the camera, but I got plenty of other guns to still shoot. You know, if there's something else you guys want to see me shoot, like I have a 300 blackout, I have my new AR, which is actually a mate, which actually is just so fucking cool. Um, we got this bad boy. This is actually an M4A1. This is this was made by Daniel Defense. If any of you that don't know them, um, they are basically a government issued um, weapons manufacturer. And what that means is all their guns they give out to the public are first tested by the government, by government officials and by the military. So they, so when they release the gun out on the market, you know you're getting a quality firearm. And plus, I believe this, they give out a warranty. So like, let's say you were to drop your rifle, like you're hiking, I don't know, up a mountain or a cliff or something, you drop your rifle when it breaks and busts the shit, um, they'll give you a brand new one. I can't say the same about the parts, like the grip I put on, the sides I got, the sling adapter, the sling, all that shit. That was extra, wasn't that cheap. Um, also the muzzles, one that I bought my own. Um, but yeah, again, it's all about whatever the manufacturer gives you at the desk. So like if they give you this rifle with built-in iron sights, then by law, they should give you back, they should be giving you the rifle with whatever you, whatever it came with when you bought it. But again, if it was like used and they sold it to you and it was used, um, I can't say the same for something like that because again it was originally to the person who first bought it um I'm not sure if you would get the warranty or what would happen if you bought one like this and it was used so like someone else had possession of it but then they gave it a but then they like sold it back and then you bought it I'm not saying that you're gonna guarantee get a warrant get a guaranteed warranty on the rifle because again, it wasn't originally yours. It was the last person's. And I'm not sure if the warranty goes over just to the rifle or whatever the case may be. Or if like you get a you have to get a paperwork or something. I don't know. But again, this this is amazing. Um I personally love this gun. Um also, fun fact, is Daniel Defense's mags. You might think that that's a standard 30 round mag, but it's actually a 32 round mag. That's what's crazy, is that their standard mags are 32 round mags, but they look so similar to a 30 round mag, which is crazy and awesome, and I love it. But yeah, again, if you guys want to see me like shoot stuff like this, or shoot like this traditional AK, like I shot, like if you want to go back, um, my sister's boyfriend shot it on his birthday. So if you want to see it shot, you can see him shooting it. Um, I haven't shown any footage of me shooting it yet, but, um, I might do that another time, but again, I'm not going to be able to do it anytime soon because I'm going to be gone basically for two whole weekends plus a whole week on top of that, which I'm not too thrilled about, but I, it's for family. So that's one reason why I am doing it. But, um, yeah, again, thank you all for being so amazing, being so loyal, being so thoughtful, being so and I'm just so grateful to have you all here, talking to you all, knowing that you guys are there to support me and whatever I decide to do in the future. Um, but yeah, again, you guys are just so amazing. The amount of attention and the amount of support I've gotten over these years has just grown and grown. And it's just been amazing seeing all of you that want to tune in my live streams see my videos like my videos i mean i've seen a, quite a few of you liked the um animation a couple of animations i had a friend made me um but yeah if you guys want to see like more stuff like that or more stuff like this let me know down in the comments because then it tells me like what you guys would like to see more of like if you want to see me talk more about guns see me shoot more guns see me just rant about random shit i don't know um but yeah, again, this is just so amazing. You guys are all so amazing. I can't thank you all for being the amazing audience you are. And I'm just so happy to be able to talk to you all today about everything. But yeah, again, if you guys just want to show amazing support every single day, I mean, just
just liking my videos, subscribing to me, leaving a nice comment is just enough for me. I'm not trying to be a fucking YouTube star like all these other people, you know, like that, like 50, 100, a million subscribers, um, like 60,000, 50,000, 100,000, 500,000, a million, 20 million. I'm not trying to be like that. I, I, I doubt I'll ever be like that because just by the sheer fact that I'm not like these veterans that like will spend every fucking day to put out a video and show off something because I just don't have that time to. I try to, but then some people just don't find interest in them and that's what makes me not be motivated to make them, which is why I try to stream a lot more. Um, but apart from all this, I'm gonna stop talking. I hope you all did enjoy this little talk after the gun gun show. Um, <laughs> but apart from all this, I'm gonna call it a night here because it is currently five in the morning and I gotta get packed and ready for the trip. So apart from all this, I'm gonna call it here and have a good night. See ya. Bye.